My name is David Kevin Johnson. I'm an assistant professor in psychology and an assistant research scientist in gerontology. Alzheimer's disease is a very significant neuropathological disease. That means it's a brain disease, it's systemic, and it affects our memory and thinking. And we have always thought of Alzheimer's disease as a problem with our verbal memory. That is the way we can remember um, items, lists, groceries, uh, telephone numbers, things like that. And in, in that, that ability fades away. This research, uh, I think, really highlights the fact that uh, Alzheimer's disease is not just verbal memory, but it's systemic. It's many different types of cognition, and it affects the entire uh, person, the entire cognitive uh, abilities of that, of that older adult. And the most notable is probably visuospatial deficit. So what is a visuospatial deficit? It's our ability to um, interpret complex um, visual stimuli and know how to interact with them or to use them for a particular task. What early diagnosis allows us to do is to hopefully identify individuals that we can uh, target new drugs for. My 92-year-old grandmother did die of Alzheimer's disease. And for the last uh, five and a half years of her life, she was uh, not the same vibrant woman that she was before. But I also got into this from excellent mentorship. I'm very fortunate to work with a great set of colleagues at Washington University. This is uh, a project that has been 25 years in the making. Uh, those folks, their dedication and their brilliance has uh, been recognized by the National Institutes on Aging. The paper was published this month in October uh, at the Archives of Neurology. That's a, a, sub, a um, publication of the American Medical Association and it has been received quite well um, and we've been now cited in the BBC and I know Reuters has carried a, a story, uh, CNN. Aging is actually a very exciting thing to study, especially today. Not only is it an, an increasing importance um, on a social level, but these people are at the vanguard, if you will, of of what human experience is. And I try to, I try to point out the fact that um, life expectancy wasn't much more than 50 years old at the turn of the last century. And in just 100 years, we now have someone that we call older adults. We have people living into their 80s and 90s and beyond. And th these people didn't exist even just a century ago.